Yo guys, welcome back to Bring Me Up Scotty. I'm Scotty and thank you guys so much for enjoying the unboxing video the other week that I put up. I asked you guys if we should do a Q&A. You guys asked a bunch of questions. Here's a sheet I printed out. Let's get to it, right? Let's answer these questions for you. So Seslowski, you asked how many Lego buildings are behind me. Well, this combined Lego and other brick brands on the tables behind me there and there, 63 buildings. So that's like anything that was a structure of a building that's not an architecture. Architecture, there's probably like around 12 or 13 buildings. I don't know if that's a lot or not. And that's only been built when I started this channel. I think when I started the channel, I only had like five. Kind of crazy. And I still have more at home. Scary. You also ask if my son Tyler will be back in the video. Yeah, let's get him back. He's supposed to help me do some reviews. He's talking a lot more. That should be a lot of fun. And the last question is, will I do military sets reviews more? Yeah, I'll keep doing more. I think they're actually pretty fun. I'm not a military guy. We have more here from Oxford some older ones and they're coming out with some new sets next month that's pure military. Just throw your suggestions down below in the comment and I'll look at some military stuff for you. And speaking of military, this one is here. This thing is ridiculous, look at that. They really had to make the barrel that long and this thing actually really kind of sucked to put together. But I'm gonna review that really, really soon. But first, I'm gonna finish up this review that a lot of people have been asking about. Next question! If I have too much stuff, would I ever consider reselling the pieces or the sets that I have here? Especially military and the stuff that I wouldn't necessarily click but review for you guys. It's possible that I could pack those away and sell them as a second hand on the website. So keep an eye out, not yet. I need some time to think about how to do it because some of these sets have missing pieces or may have a little bit of damage, but you know, I might be more than happy to do it anyway, but we'll have to see if that works out or not and figure out the pricing and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, maybe secondhand stuff in Scotty's store. Sounds good to me. Next one is from Nikita Wells. You've asked me about this Aston Martin. It is here, the James Bond car. I have not reviewed it yet. And she actually bought a couple of the nano block sets from me, which is actually really cool and asked me about that. I don't have a video review yet on the fossils. I will get to them. I can't wait to get to them. And for nano blocks, seriously, you guys should give this a chance, especially if you don't have all the space and you just want to have like little tiny sets. There's nothing wrong with nano blocks. I thought they're actually pretty cool. Everyone's like, oh, I have fat fingers. I have to use tweezers to do nano blocks. Dude, they're totally fine. I have the fattest hands in the world. I can get through them, put them together with absolutely no problem and have just as much joy as building them as I do with Lego and other brick brands. Lulu Love asks, will I review any light brick sets again? I don't know. I've done a couple of sets like came with lights, but I know they sell them separately. And some of you asked me if I'll ever sell them. There's so many different DIY custom made brands that make these lights. I'm still looking into which ones are good. There's some local ones in Hong Kong. I might talk to the company and find out more about their LED setup, maybe possibly selling it on the store, but I'll get back to you guys on the light stuff. Okay, so this one's from Rick D. He says, please keep doing the unboxing and q and A. So if you guys really enjoy it, please. Let me know in the comments and also keep asking me some questions or let me know what you want me to review. Of course, I need time to do all those kind of things. Rick, what else did you say here? I never bought from your store due to postage for to Australia. That's been a little bit high. Yeah, I know I can't control shipping, but you know, I encourage you to look elsewhere too. And you know, the site is just set up for a fan service for some of you guys that really want to buy from me or that have been buying from you. And again, I super appreciate that. Can we get a better close up of the box artwork next time? Actually, yeah, why not? I should, huh? It should be more slow and intimate. We have two new boxes. I won't do the unboxing. I think I'll speed build these on camera because they're fairly small. Check it out. Is this slow enough for you? Here we go. So this one is from Zing Bao. This is the excavator giant construction set. Is that beautiful enough for you? I don't have like model hands, but look, ooh, look at that. We can pop this sucker open like that. Whoa, eight sets in here, look at that. Ooh, let's pull out what A looks like, just to show you. That is A, and, oh, that's crazy, man. It's a three in one. So you got three vehicles in one box, but then at the end of that box, you can turn them into this giant vehicle. Look at that. We have all these A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, feel free to pause on the screen right here. That's insane, man. So each one of these are actually all three in ones. Yep. 
So the value I think for this one is actually pretty good, especially if you have kids and you want to put them together. You can build each one three times each and then you build the bad boys. That'll be interesting to see. We have one more. Well, do we need to see the side of the box? Pause the image on here. Cool. There's one more box here. And this is also from Zingbao. Super Battleship eight in one. Whoa, this is for all you space sci-fi guys. This carrier can fly. Let's look inside. Boom. <laughs> this is just like the construction one we just saw. Again, we'll pull out A. This is a little teaser. Eight in one. Oh look, this is like another three in one thing I think that's going on. So each one is three sets that you can build each and then you can build that big ship in the middle when you put them all together. How cool is that? Whoa. So brand new from Zingbao. You guys interested? You want me to put this on the store? I don't know how much it costs, but okay. If you want me to, I will put these on the store. So a couple of questions from Tio. He is asking, do I do Deer's voice? If so, can you do it on video? Deer, I don't know, man. Do we tell people who does your voice? Or do we have to show them how we do your voice? Let's keep it a secret. Who does your voice? I don't know. Mm, interesting. I'm still thinking about that. I can't do his voice. So. Don't do it. Hi, guys. My name is Deer. That's the closest I can get, so, you know. Sound a little bit more different, right? Nah, you ain't as good as me. Oh, there you go. Okay, so Tio also asked, how fragile is the Zingbao Xenomorph set? Here it is. Yes, I know about the negative comments. There have been quite a lot about the set being really fragile. I can tell you right now, it's 100% not glued. It does stand. Now, if you look here by the feet, right there, I took a couple of pieces out because those pieces were actually making it fall apart even more. So right now, it's, it's dirty if you don't touch it. Just leave it alone, don't touch it. Okay, look, the whole thing can kind of move there. Yeah, you had to balance him out pretty good. He's still holding up. Hopefully the feet doesn't split there, but you can kind of get the idea. The arms come off pretty easy, but surprisingly, each individual piece of this set holds together really well. It's only until it like all fully comes together that it wants to fall apart. But so far, he's okay. The, the arm fell down. Fix this one. There's the tail, the tail came off. But he's still standing right now. Tail's durable, see? Put his tail back. Oh, I dropped his drool. He had some drool there on the floor. Oh, come on. Everyone wants to see you fall. See, he will fall now if you lean him too far back. So you gotta make sure the knees and back get pulled back up here, up here. There you go, balance, balance there. Push this back in, push this in. There you go, hasn't fallen, but it will fall. We can see what is going on in the editing room. See, I'm still editing the Aliens and Predator one. There's the helicopter. Helicopter's there on the screen. Yeah, it's time to cut that baby. Thank you guys so much for watching. That was a quick Q&A. It's nice to actually move around the office and answer some of your questions. If you have any more comments, questions, please make it down below, right there. And I'll see you guys in the next video, all right? So until next time, break me out. You guys haven't left yet? Nothing else to see here, man. It's kind of messy. Later.